Brittany from EcoVeganGal.com and welcome back into my kitchen. I'm really excited, as always, to tell you about something, and that is how to make your own coconut kefir. Coconut kefir is an alternative to dairy-based kefir, which is a very popular form of probiotic. And a lot of people use it for health reasons. It's incredibly beneficial. It's full of all sorts of things from enzymes to vitamins K, B, it has calcium, phosphorus, uh, the list goes on and on. Coconut kefir can get expensive. If you buy it in the stores, it's going to be at least 4 or $5. And then the really good stuff can be like $12. Plus, I'm just really trying to make most of my own things on my own and save packaging as well as money. So I thought, why not make it myself? Started making it a few months ago. It's incredibly easy and it's so satisfying. And it's, it just takes a few ingredients. The main thing you need is a kefir starter. I use one by Body Ecology. It's probably the most popular and trusted brand. You can buy these online. Luckily, they sell them at Rainbow Grocery in San Francisco, which is right up the street from me. So you can check your local natural market and see if they carry this. This Body Ecology comes with six packets in it, but each package can be used seven times. And then all you need is some coconut water. You can use fresh coconut water. These run anywhere from $2 to $3. Sometimes you can get them as cheap as $1.50, depending on where you are and where you shop. Um, and, and these usually have about a cup of water in them, depending on how big they are. If that gets a little pricey and inconvenient for you, you can get coconut water in a can or a uh, paper container. Um, I like to use Natural Factors organic coconut water. This is the only organic coconut water in the package right now. So come on over, I'll show you how to make it. process took about 10 minutes or so from start to finish. Now I'm just going to put this up here in a safe place. I like to keep it above my refrigerator. You want to keep it at about 72 to 75 degrees and some place where it won't be disturbed. You just let it sit for 48 hours and then it's done. I'm going to come back to you and show you what it looks like after that time so you can see how bubbly and fizzy and delicious it gets. It's been 48 hours and I'm now ready to have some of my coconut kefir. I'm gonna get it from the top of my fridge. It's always so exciting. Oh. Nice. So you can see it got a little bubbly. There's this great little fizzy sound. It sounds like soda. Oh yeah, I wish you could hear this. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on the mic. The result of this should be tart, tangy, and fizzy. If it isn't all of the above, there's a chance that you might not have fermented it long enough. It might have been too hot or too cold. Um, you might have heated it up too high beforehand. In most cases, it's going to turn out perfectly, but you can just experiment and adjust. One packet can yield up to seven, seven batches of this stuff. All you have to do is pour more coconut water into it and let it sit for another 48 hours. After those seven batches, then you make a new batch with another one of the starters. Much more affordable than um, buying it off the shelves and you get to control the entire process and the ingredients that go into it. Plus, the probiotic factor of this is so good to incorporate into your diet. And I'll have anywhere from a sip to a glass full of it, depending on how I feel. You might want to take a little at a time to get used to it at first. Let me know how it goes. Tell me, have you tried making your own coconut kefir before? I love video responses, by the way. So if you have something to say about coconut kefir, probiotics, anything related to this video, Please record a video of yourself and post it on here. Let the world see your face as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. Be sure to visit ecovegangal.com for more information. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date on everything going on in the eco-vegan world. Subscribe to this channel. I have a new video every single day. I'll see you next time.